Any particular thoughts from the Lord, particularly about the growing up, enter a new <laughs> year? <laughs> um, a lot. I don't. I'm. You know me. I'm not always amazing at putting things in my words clearly, uh, but he is definitely um, doing a a a soul work on my heart and um, just each and every prayer today, you know, and even my kids and Tim last night, just um, such a confirmation, you know, in, in the Lord's goodness and faithfulness um, Mm. as we draw near to him and um, desire a humbleness (laughs) and desire to be, you know, brought down to the place and, and not in a demeaning place, obviously, um, as the Lord desires to lift us up and encourage us. But, mm. you know, I just, I see him in so many areas of my day to day. You know, I think it's, mm-hmm. it's easy with, especially everything going on in the world today to, to look for the Lord in grandioso large circumstances and, and hardship or even, you know, wonderful things. Um, but the Lord just continues day to day to show me himself in the small details of, of his goodness and his faithfulness. Um, you know, I, it seems like a small thing again, but yesterday was a beautiful day and started out with, um, good things. And then, you know, the middle of the day was really rough, rougher than most days. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, do what? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Um, and I, you know, had to really work through my own, my own soul of, you know, quote unquote, expectations of what a day should be. And at the end of the day, I was grateful <laughs> that I didn't, you know, have all these things and um, ideas of what, because I had told them a few days before, you know, I, I hope, I hoped it for it to be just a simple day. Um but, you know, the soul still wants to, to work up ideas and thoughts of what, what it may look like. Um, but overall, the Lord just showed me in his goodness, you know, he knew what the day had in store. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, obviously, that can be uh, a, a, a good perspective of how we look at our lives in general, you know, and, and handing him the wheel and giving him control. Mm-hmm. Um which I clearly still need daily reminders of. <laughs> so bless the Lord. And, um, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just so immensely grateful for each one of, mm. of you here and um, the part that you play in my life with the Lord. Um, mm. There are no words. Mm. Truly, there are no words. So yeah. bless the Lord. I love you, each one of you, so much. Thank you, mm. Thank you sister. We love you. So much, I think you know, especially your parents from there as 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 in co-author review of your life a little bit. So you can see, you know, the incubation of God's grace in your life, but you didn't you did not wish them grace. You know, actually, that's something I was actually here. My 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 eyes set on it. You know, so. Rather, you you made it were fruitful and productive and meaningful to all of us. So, especially your children, I think they, the when they grow up, you know, ten year ten year down the road, we'll see how meaningful it is to have you in their life, you know, in certain ways as a, more than as a mother, but a, as a spiritual figure, you know, example in their lives. So, yeah, in that light, uh, why don't you bless us? Mm-hmm. Father, I do just come for your throne, Lord. Pouring out my gratitude for your love, Father. For your gifts that are beyond measure. There is just no way to fathom and for our human minds to understand the goodness and the depth of your love. 
yet in your goodness and in your faithfulness, you reveal yourself to us, God. You show us the way. You lay down your life, Jesus, so that we may have that life in you. Lord, you have given us that perfect picture of what it means to be your son. That perfect pattern to follow God. And so I am just beyond grateful, Lord, to be in the presence of your people, Mm. to be walking side by side. Mm. Those saints, Lord, that desire to become more like you, Mm. that desire in the depths of their heart to be known by you, Father. Mm. Our King, our Creator, Lord. And God, we thank you and trust you that you will continue this good work in each one of us Mm -hmm. as we lift our eyes to you, Mm -hmm. as we walk in your strength, in your power, in your spirit, Lord, not on our own. Father, I do just pray a special blessing over each one of my brothers and sisters here, young and old. Mm -hmm. Father, would you... Give all healing, all understanding, and wisdom as we each one cry out to you in Jesus' name. Mm. Lord, we want to be made alive in your power, God. Mm. Not to bring attention to ourselves or to do mighty things in our own name, God, but we want to do mighty things in your name. Mm. To glorify you, God, to honor you. And so as I enter into this life, Mm. 40 years on this earth, Mm. I look forward to the eternity, God, Mm. I have to spend with you as your son. Mm. I look forward to forevermore, God, Mm. in your spirit and in your life. Mm. Lord, continue to strip away the distractions of what this life on earth holds. God. Mm. We have only brought true peace and true joy mm. as I see with your eyes and see my life, those lives that I love in your spirit, Lord, in your perspective and what you have for us mm. as your sons, building up your kingdom, God. Mm. Here on this earth, <clears throat> and for eternity mm. sitting next to you mm. yes God I, I second the prayers Lord of those as I desire nothing more than a deeper revelation and a deeper relationship Lord with you mm. I bless your holy name Lord I thank you again just for your love, mm. for your good, and for your for your faithfulness, Father. Mm. Love you. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well, we we really appreciate you, sister. Bless the Lord. Appreciate your prayer for sure. Bless the Lord. And preach, appreciate the people you introduced our lives. Yeah. So so you know. So good to us and uh, so meaningful to us. We we ask you th- through you, and I know you're blessing already, but through you, continue to dispense a greater blessing to their life. Amen. As well. So, um, due to the time, we we mind you know skip um, the your young ones a prayer for you, uh, but I think the the rejoice over you, you know, rejoice with you in in this in this time. So. Um, hallelujah. Uh, with that being said, I wanted to maybe speak on others' behalf, but I want to give a praise report and to a few prayer requests. The praise report is I'm not sure, John, do you feel better today? You feel good? I feel good right now. 
Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's three consecutive days, as long as I know. So, you do better, brother, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Thank you. Yeah. Well, why not you give the prison report? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, I've, I've been having some pain in my back, right uh, lower back, that's been bothering me intermittently, and so far I've. Have not had much intermittent problems anymore, so that's uh, bless the Lord. I seem to be getting better. Uh, yeah. Thanks to uh, Tim's recommendation of uh, lemon oil and water. Oh, uh, you think that is a trick? Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure the Lord had a had a major hand in that too. But uh, <laughs> but uh, that is um, very interesting. The lemon water sure is good too. I'm, is that uh, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> this morning I wake up. Um, so the Lord said, "You have, um, I think, something to do with the ritual's life as well." In, in a prophetic sense, said, it, "You know, he did the layman test." He said, "You know, so he he said, uh, you know, you've been tested. Um, I mean, the season for the remedy tested." So I said, "What is a layman test?" I I was confused. Layman test is a legal term. Well, I still don't understand what layman test is. You know, so. But he said, you know, you, you basically pass a layman test. You know, interesting, yesterday we, we did some tests with the young ones. I'm thinking about this interesting, you know, I don't exactly know how, what the birthday is, but it had linger on my head. I, I think I will heard it's 40 years, ritual for you. I think the father wanted to actually make me a little bit bold of, and, and um, playing. Normally, I don't speak in this way, but I do want to tell you, the father said, you have passed the test. And uh, then he told me to tell you to look to the two incidents in the Bible, Old and New Testament, of 40, the time, 40 years of wilderness and 40 years testing time in Jesus Christ's ministry, prior to he truly sent out to go about the business of the Father. But normally we, he's told me basically one side often we on the receiving end of what it means to be tested is almost like, um, ah, as long as we get over this and God said it's good, we're good, right? So, but the Lord told me the graduation of the test is a sign of approval to receive the blessings to to engage the true purposes of God, the true ways of God. So in a sense, um, I think that's a blessing that can come to your life more and more, especially with young ones rise up before you, flourish in their life, natural but uh, about all spiritual, and they're going to bring a lot of joy and blow, bring a lot of excitement for you, you know, in, uh, as a mother for sure, but uh, as a token of God's bride, if I can use that, I think uh, we share this prophetic perspective in, in past seasons. We don't exhort ourselves, or, but uh, God has particularly through team and others, even Nicole here have many visions about you. It's a representation of a bride company. And um, I think there's something going on. God is, 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 is marked from the, in a sense, before you were born, you were born into an overall operation God to represent something. Well, in a s- certain sense, as it seems overwhelming, but we all know who we are, should we not? God sent us this age, give us multiple, meaningful, mighty visions, sometimes dreams, sometimes direct encounters, said I put it into this time frame or time span of a humankind, to represent something. Moses in Nashi or in war or something, but to represent something. 
and the representativeness in your life is the work and the maturation of the bride company. And uh, in that light, I was just want to congratulate you. You know, for God said, your testing time is over, and He will make things fulfill your your life in more substantial ways. Should I say it? Because you know, when you test it, certain things holding back from you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking about more about the spiritual blessings. I believe God wants you to rise up to be a spiritual leadership in our community for for the body of Christ, even in greater senses. That's interesting how God does those things. You know, the Lord also told me he has finished work of royalty in you, a royal bride of the Lord, the heart of the spirit of your as may you be feel imperfect, for sure, unwilling, struggling. The father told me that's not how he sees you. He sees as a royal one. And I want to bless you and, and encourage you. And I tell you, that's not my thoughts, okay? It didn't come to me. We're, we're early, so amen. Hallelujah. So you be amen. blessed. <laughs> <laughs> to share because yeah. it is really a confirmation um and i always cry <laughs> when the lord is so <laughs> evidently speaking and i don't even realize it mm-hmm. sorry i hate talking and crying <laughs> anyway um, take your time by the way mm-hmm. okay um like i was saying earlier just in regard to the lord um doing a good soul work on me, um, not just yesterday, obviously, but uh, in reviewing my day as I was laying in bed last night, um, and even in conversation that I was having with Noah specifically uh, through writing, not in person, but so it is in writing. <laughs> I equi- I um, used the example uh, yesterday of the test that my children were taking, um, yesterday to the test that I experienced specifically yesterday myself. Um, and my response was that I had failed. Um, in my response, um, to, to what the Lord was trying to show me, um, Anyway, so um, all of that just to say, your comment, your, what the Lord showed you um, to share with me was clearly. Um, it's the opposite picture. You need to know how the Father sees you. It's quite the opposite. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I like the, the word you mentioned, someone mentioned earlier. We are in working process. But remember, God's way is much higher than our ways. Amen. You know, until the soul is set aside, not more than the still, it cannot be the angel, the source of wisdom, of counsel from the Father. You had to get into the spirit. And getting the spirit is not fluffy, it's set off, you know. So the essence of the spirit, the power of the spirit, the glory of the spirit comes with counsel, the wisdom. No, until you have been enlightened and grounded, established, proved in that counsel wisdom through God, He's the one aligned, agree with you, one with you in that regard. Then His headship or His lordship or whatever the word, you know, so basically His entrustment. You know, it's, it's like a, if your right hand is going to do something, your mind will never say, I don't trust my right hand. I'm not sure he's good enough. You know, unless certain things hurtful or make the head a little bit problematic, but it's a healthy, functional, fully capable hand. You know, the mind naturally knows how to use that hand properly. You know, um, therefore, oftentimes, 
we receive it as as a negative thing. But in God, it's enabling thing. It's a blessing in a sense. Without it, certain things cannot be released or progress into. He is God of order. He's God of divine justice. And there is、um, a testimony we have to bear, you know, and we have to show the, the devil, which is the day topic. I will continue to talk about it. How you overcome the devil? How you overcome your soul? You really have to know how th- things in the spirit realm, how they order, they function. Most of the time, actually, to do with legality things. You know, common is is a legal con <laughs> legal construct. The dispense responsibility educationally has to come with a legal contest. Unfortunately, that's you know the blurry the new. Protestant or the whatever Christianity has been, some had to draw it out, some just excited with certain perspective. Look at things, but whole thing really works. We really don't necessarily always seeking it because we. I don't want to be critical, you know. I'm just、uh, you know, the God said, "Walk by faith, not by sight." What a faith is. Faith we said is hope things, the substance things. Yes, it's all the true, but the faith continue to be translated. What are God going to do with my future or humankind? But if it's the things unseen, the things hope for, that means the humankind at your life is already right off. I mean, it's already over, am I? It's something beyond that. So if that is the case, and the substance of what things. We hope for has to be after or beyond this human age, or、oh, the construct. I mean, the economy. That's why Paul said we have taste the goodness, the power for the age to come. You can see certain teacher and minister continue to translate that into God's enabling or God's work in the contest, our revelation. Our future. What it happened this world? What an angel going to do? What you know? What a, what a heaven and earth going to 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 encompass in, in in wrapping up this age? But in all those, I needed fruitful and beneficial. But it's、uh, it's still kindergarten things, you know. It's still the the testing process. It's still not bursting out, you know, and you're not still cross over to the other side. So my point is that then you look at this, what faith really means. Faith is a path, a doorway. Faith is from which legal proof by God lead you to a, this substantial realm of sonship, if you will, because that realm can have to be only given to sons. Only given to sons has nothing to do with internal feature, even or internal principles. It has a realm that the relationship, that interaction, the fellowship can only be given to some. I'm sorry to drag along here. I just wanted to bless you. You know, as you know, when you mature in this light as a bride, for example, spiritually speaking, don't don't apply in any lesser light. Oh, I try to present to get a hold of this this spiritual essence. What I'm trying to say. When a bride is matured, that means he's married and raising up children. You know, it's a wife. So there lies the true what it means being adopted. I know many people talk about adopting in different light. You know, they they even link to sonship because the spirit adoption is the spirit of sonship. But what it really entails there is actually. Not like in the marriage situation, a、um, a woman in this case, a perfect virgin, first betrothed, then eventually get married. There's a gift, am I right? To be given jewelry, to give and there's all those tokens. I I can write a book, or others maybe write a book about it. But it's not important. The important is that each song has to go through this process in their spiritual maturity. In terms, fulfilled authority, power, or substance, the fullness of 
life sonship in God. So when you get married, finally you build a relationship. Now you have the right to become a son of the father of the husband household. That's us in lesson is we have the right to not as a slaves, which as angels, if you will, but we are sons now. We entered a different realm engaging God as our father, not as our master, uh, not taskmaster per se, but it's just, you know, he command, he do his beatings, basically. Angel is waiting to command to do his beatings. There's no negative things about this, only that is a different kind of relationship. Therefore, authority, power, or grace are granted, enabling, granted in this. Now, when you are betrothed, married, then your seed of faith grows. I mean, you have the possibility to reproduce or to grow in this seed of faith, if you will. <laughs> And that seed, let me see, you know, you come to the womb, then you bear a child. Now, in the Asian culture, especially Jewish culture, in the biblical culture of the old, a wife without a child, you know, the, de the desolate woman story, right? Hannah, Naomi, Minnie, right? So, Rachel, you <laughs> in the Old Testament, <laughs> When they have a child, before they don't have a child, they enjoy totally different privilege and honor in the family setting. Not because those traditions old, archaic, you know, it's just even inhuman as modern feminists will say, you know, <laughs> because of patriarchal, you know, so. But if we really look at the God design and the true lessons there, he was teaching sonship. You know, how he really imparted the blessing of sonship in a legal way or in a judiciary way. So when the sons and uh, when the wife finally bear a son, have a legal ear. Now, interesting enough, in the family setup, all things related to legal enabling and honoring or privilege of that wife changed. Everything changed because the firstborn, therefore, the wife is considered as a son. Not when you married, you legally consider son. See, you have the right to be a son. You have potential to be a son when you get even betrothed or born or virgin when you get married. But until you bear a son, the legal construct or the family honor, family those kind of things still with hold. Now, as less to do with whether you have a new child or not, or the family can be continued or not, you know, you have air long was in a sense. But it, what I'm saying that it's just all true. You know, that is has to happen because that's 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 a thread of all other things hung hung on it. But what I'm talking about the legal ramification or consequences when this is changed. Once a wife bear a child, legally, he enjoy the full privilege, equal standards, if you will, with a son. He enjoys all the, the privileges. Therefore, when a husband and wife get married, they become one, but that one is a blessing, the granting of inheritance cannot happen until they actually can continue the family line. Now, spiritually speaking, for the remedy for any people through God's chosen people of this age, this, this, this mystery, if you will, we, we, we can intellectually or scholarly, biblically draw all the principle out. But the grace has to be given. The ministry has to be real. The, in a sense, the teaching from heaven, the authorization from heaven has to be granted. 
when I explain to you guys this way, it's totally making sense. I hope you think I'm making sense. Okay, so you know, but you see, how many actually talking about these things? We use catch word like a team talking about, you know, bridal company, sound company. Those are all good. We use those words as well. But there is a huge, huge ministry and grace has to be appropriated, appreciated by a chosen people. My, um, my um, suggestion here, actually, revelation here is that your life what you share, we're going through. On your side, you said, you know, you have one set of feeling, but for God's side, he said, ritual life is a prophetic, is a talking, is a sign for what I'm doing with my bridal company at the end of time. And uh, today, I granted her, you know, so this is more than you yourself, in a sense. I'm bubbling. I don't know how to explain to it. You know, I wish someday I could write those things down, but uh, it's hard to teach or write those things because people consider it mystical or, you know, a little bit too, too unrealistic. You know, actually these things are so relevant. It's, 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 it's a life, you know, when you begin to understand this, this kind of a construct of your life because it involves your spirituality, in what God's living work towards you, in what the, what, the, what, the, what the forces darkness try to do, or the devil want to do. And then in what the fulfilling God's calling, not general terms, but which is a chosen living grace, living ways through a chosen people. You know, not everybody is you. That's not to, 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 to use a Again, a, a trick said, oh, everybody's created by God differently. No. What I'm talking about is real. Not everybody, it's a team and a you. They're not called. If they can reconcile the difference on that, they need to work with God through that process. It is not... You know, your job to impose on people, you know, so like it's not my job to impose on others that I might be a send one to somebody or to some purposes. The, their life, however, inevitably has to be redirected, reorganized accordingly, because that's number one. That's, that's, that's how God does things. You know, he's so the chosen people. And in this light, God never shut the door to anybody who wants this wife. But when he chooses it, the grace begins to give, and the fruition begins to give, and the, the obedient, the working out begins to manifest. Oh, what a joy. You know, the heavens celebrate. The Father is so happy. I see the Father is a super joyful and pleased by you. Is that amazing how God sees us differently? You know, maybe polar opposite than what we think we are. We may feel filled him. And God said, look, that song I bruised him, I broke him. <laughs> but he didn't give up on me. And he reduced himself to a point. He said, Father, what do you ever want me to do? You know, so whatever is your will, I, I'm here. Even I feel incapable of doing it. Not good for anything, but hey, what else I have in heaven but you? What else I have in in earth but to serve you? And then kind of hard, it's just that's all God wants sometimes, you know, in dealing our soul realm of our being. And then he said, Well, wonderful. In his spiritual evaluation, that spiritual well soul is a superior and a full of good things and will Fill it up, you know, let it overflow. And I pray for you, sister, you, you know, I know you have different, many, many in, engagement in life, but for all of us today in, in the hearing of uh, this explanation, if we own, and let God reveal to you your internal value in him. You know, those are chosen by God. These are signs and wonders to this world. Well, you're not signs, wonders, 
seeking in the heaven, go to another city to find the shining star, to say that there I can worship God. You are the signs. You are the stars of uh, God's promise. Am I right? Your sun will be like a star in the heaven. You know, so I'll be numerous. So it's not, uh, in a sense, a small company, even many times. It is uh, we're few because God conditioned as a few, but it's not in a sense our understanding of a uh, few what it means because it's 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 a process regeneration. Now, when this pattern or this grace is granted, it, it it's almost like it doesn't matter what the world or your your natural life would 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 go through because it's the same thing, you know. You imagine, you know, what what Moses went through, what Abraham went through, what David through. External in historical settings, they will say, "Well, that's David's time. That's what David did. That's David, my dear boys. That's Moses did." But in God, concerning their education, spiritual in Him, establishing Him, and their representation, I mean, fulfill His will, there is a common thing. It's it's like the same thing, same template, same substance, same same pattern, same. If you will, I could quote, okay, heavenly principles or spiritual principles. That is what I saw the legal construct or judicial construct. God cannot violate his justice. He does things for no reason. He does things with a standard. 